Okay, so I'm here with Lothar Kalsen uh, from Sociomantic Labs. He's been uh, talking earlier at the panel about personalization. I mean, loads of personalization, one-to-one -one marketing, it's, it's the kind of topic at the moment, isn't it? It's the hot topic. Yes, um, of course. Personalization, um, it's for us one of the big topics, um, one of the big challenges in the industry. What we actually do is, um, if we talk about personalization, it's mainly about the personalization of the pricing and the messaging. Um, and according to this, uh, we have a lot of different approaches for different user groups. I mean, what's the kind of consumer reaction to this kind of thing? I mean, is it just a bad way to do it? Is it a wrong way to do it? I think like the user gets more and more used to see relevant ads. Um, and this means that um, the user um, is not only that he's accepting us, um, he's looking forward to ads which are really um, yeah, which, which are really fitting his interest. And this is the way how the industry is getting more and more structured. And we are in the lucky position with programmatic that we can really go for a one-on-one -on -one approach. Sure, I mean, you're, hypothetically, you're a brand, you're trying to roll this out. What are the main challenges that you face in trying to create personalization plans? Mm -hmm. um, if you talk about the main challenges, I think we have to um, differentiate uh, according to new users and existing users uh, for a customer. So for new users, um, still um, it's uh, the way to go which um, additional data um, to take um, for the right targeting group. Um, if we talk about existing um, users, that we still see some challenges for advertisers um, that they um, need to get rid of data silos. So for an advertiser, it's really needed that they store all the um, information um, in one, uh, yeah, w one single database that they are able to pass um, information uh, to a vendor like us and, then, uh, and this even in real time.